Robert. Uh, mess magical messages from the mermaids and dolphins. And this is, a, of course, a Dorian Virtue guidebook and card. And uh, this is one of the um, ones I've had for a very, very long time. So it's got a lot of energy in that. And so I just had this feeling I'd done Domino Angels in another video and I thought, here we go, I will do the um, mermaids. And I hope that you guys can see, um, this is actually from Egypt. Um, my husband's parents went over to Egypt a long time ago and got this picture of Isis. I'll do a zoom in on that um, towards the end, but I love having her right there on the wall. It's wonderful. Um, it's very good for healing energies as well. Okay, so here we go. I'll just close my eyes and we'll focus on this one. Um, a message for everybody. Alright, here we go. Tranquility is the name of the card. Hope you can read that. Okay, looks fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. It says, make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self care. Alright, now I'll just read what it says to you. It says, this card asks you to take a break from your harried schedule. Soaking or swimming in salty water creates a magical electrical energy shift in your body. The salt draws out emotional and physical toxins. Purchase sea salt from your local health food store's spice section and pour lots of the salt and fragrant essential oils into your warm bath water. Be sure to immerse your chest and heart chakra under the water as you soak in the tub in order to release toxic emotions. Burn a white candle near your bathtub as you look at the flickering light. Think about what you want. The light, the white candle amplifies your thoughts and feelings. So think about your desires and not your fears. Let the salt water wash away any doubts that could block your manifestation. Ask the candle to illuminate your mind and faith and positive expectations. Enjoy this relaxation time and have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. And immediately some people are saying, but I don't have a bath. <laughs> and I tell you what, you can do the same thing in the shower. Um, you know, you can have your candles in the shower and sit down in the shower if you want to. Um, but another thing that you could do is while you're watching a movie at night or even working um, you know, late at night or even writing or something, uh, just get yourself a little container and put your feet in there and soak your feet and let the salt water um, draw away the negativity from your body, body. And this brings you much more relief than you might think. And so often I think, oh, but I haven't got time to do that or I haven't got time to do that. And this is exactly what it's talking about is making time for yourself because you'll find that everything gets done no matter what you think you need to do um, or you know how, you, how tight your schedule is and I know all about that if I actually give myself at least half an hour a day I can get so much more done like it, it, it's like the equivalent of having an extra day is just taking that time out for yourself another thing is that if you are you know feeling fearful in your home for example or you feel like you've got um, just some sort of stagnant energy take um, a big bag of salt uh, rock salt or whatever it is and uh, walk around the outside of your house and um, don't worry about what anyone thinks about what you're doing and you are silently asking that many many angels are there especially Archangel Michael um, protecting your home and you know go around the perimeter of the house and do that every six months or so and it creates like a beautiful force field of energy around your home you could even ask that a force field of energy is placed there and what you might find is anybody that is not part of your life like is not part of your life goal or where you're heading in your life uh, will just fade away and um, you know you won't have as much troubles electrically um, you know you, you'll find that things start to become harmonious in your home and you know you're taking charge of that happening for you you know you're taking charge of this by doing this um, and your intention is you know that the angels are there 
Um, anybody can connect with the energy of mermaids, which is a very, very loving energy, and the dolphin energy as well, especially those who um, love being towards the sea. You are always um, you know, energised by salt water. The same thing will happen if you're soaking your feet, and the same thing, your home will become energised by the salt being around the perimeter of the home. It's also said in traditional, um, I guess, kind of magical type of um, writings that there is no evil spirit or um, lower energy or you know a horrible vibe that can cross the threshold of salt. It's it's like this, you know, keeps people away, or keeps spirits away that are not intended to be near you. So when you are asking for this cleansing around your home, around your body, etc., you're also asking that the angels of light, Archangel Michael, uh, are coming and escorting any lower energies away from you and, you know, keeping this, this going. So you're basically posting angels everywhere you go. Um, you are um, doing a clearing and healing on yourself when you are taking care of yourself. And you know this is also taking care of those who may be lost souls um, and need to get to the healing light of the heavens. So that was the little message that came through um, with the mermaids and dolphins cards. I hope that that made sense for any, everybody out there, or somebody at least. And um, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing when I get back inside now. <laughs> Um, lighting a candle is a wonderful focus of your intentions. Um, that is why uh, you know a lot of people say, "Do I have to light candles for to, for angels, for God, for you know? Do I have to just light these?" It's not for them at all. It's for you, um, and it's it's just going to help you focus. Um, doing a candle flame um, focus is wonderful for um, opening up your third eye. So you stare at the candle flame, the very centre of the candle flame, and you're staring at it for at least a minute. You close your eyes and you try to keep that vision of the candle flame in, in you know, inside of your, behind your eyes. Um, and that is expanding this, this third eye. So you're going to get used to what visions you're going to have. A lot of people might not um, believe that they can do that, um, but you'll be surprised what happens when you try doing this. And what will happen is that um, you don't have to stare at the candle as long. You can just close your eyes, keep that light there. The light opens up into more of a vision for you. So thank you guys for listening. And um, until the next video, it's goodbye from me. Bye.